This video is going to briefly look at the identity matrix. And before I begin with the identity matrix, I just want to ask the question, what is the identity for multiplication? In other words, if you were to multiply just with real numbers, what is the identity for multiplication? Well, that means you're looking at what number can you multiply by any other number and you end up with the exact same number. And the answer is 1. Uh, for example, if you were to take any number such as 8 times 1, that's going to be equal to 8. Or you could take 1 and multiply that by 8. doesn't matter which way we multiply. You're still going to end up with 8. So the identity for multiplication is 1. That means we multiply anything by 1. We do not change the value. So we want to look at that for our matrix. What is the identity matrix? Well, the identity matrix is simply a matrix that must be square. So you must have a square matrix. Okay, and it contains only ones on the di diagonal of your matrix and then everything else is zeros for an example if we have a and I'll put I sub 2 which means this is the identity matrix for a 2 by 2 matrix you're simply going to have 1 0 0 1 and if we look at the identity matrix for a 3 by 3 I sub 3 then you would have 1 0 0 0, 1, 0, and 0, 0, 1. If you notice here on the diagonal, we have 1s on the main diagonal here, and then everything else is a 0. So what does this mean for the identity matrix? Well, if we take, for an example, the uh, matrix, we'll call this matrix A, and let's take, for example, uh, 7, 3, negative 1, 4, 2, 0, 1, negative 2, 6, and let's multiply this by the identity matrix. And if we do that, what's the answer? Well, the answer is going to be matrix a because it's not going to change. Now let's see how that works. Well remember how we uh, multiply our matrices. We're going to multiply the row by column. So if I take this first row and I was if I was to multiply 7, 3, and then negative 1. Notice when I multiply these here 7 times 1 is 7. And then I'm going to add that to 3 times 0 and negative 1 times 0. Well, the 0 is going to cancel everything out. So the only thing we're going to be left with is the 7 times 1. So here we're going to end up with 7. And then when we multiply these numbers by the 7, 3, negative 1, when we multiply them here, notice the only number we're going to get is the 3 times 1. So we're going to have 3. And the only thing we get at the bottom is the negative 1. So therefore, that's going to be true where we end up with exactly the same matrix. So if we take A times I, you're going to be equal to A. Now, the one thing that's neat about this is the order does not matter. We can actually take the identity matrix, and we can multiply that by matrix A, and it's still going to be equal to A. So this is a case where the order in which you multiply does not make a difference when you're multiplying with the identity matrix. And if we want to look at this uh, using the calculator, we could do so. Uh, we could go into the matrix, 
uh, go over to edit and I'm going to edit matrix A and I'm going to type in a 3x3 three three matrix which we had our 7, 3, negative 1, 4, 2, 0, 1, negative 2, and 6. And once again, I'm going to exit out of the matrix. Then we want to go back in, go over to edit, and I want to edit matrix B. And I want to make this the identity matrix. So again, that's going to be a 3x3 three three matrix. So we would have 1 enter, 0 enter, 0 enter, 0 enter, 1 enter, 0 enter. And then the last row is going to be 0, 0, 1. Okay, then I'm going to quit. I want to go back to the matrix. And we want to select A and multiply that by matrix B. Now keep in mind B is the, whoops, selected the wrong one here. Go into second matrix. Number two is matrix B. Now keep in mind B is the identity. So when we multiply here, we come up with the exact same matrix. And even if I went in into select matrix B and we multiply that by matrix A, once again, we're going to get the exact same matrix. So when you're looking at your identity, first of all, it must be a square matrix, and then you're going to have all ones on the main diagonal, and everything else is going to be a zero. And if you multiply this by any matrix, you're going to end up with the exact same matrix.